Hi everyone, today's lesson is lesson 24, parentheses and the associative property. So the operations of arithmetic are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. When there is more than one operation in a problem, the parentheses show us the order for doing the operation. These are parentheses. Parentheses separate a problem into parts. We do what's inside the parentheses first, and then what's outside. So here, we would do 5 plus 4 first. 5 plus 4 is 9. And then we would do 6 times 9. So 6 times 9 equals 54. What would happen if I did this in the wrong order? So let's say that I ignored the parentheses and I did 6 times 5 first. Well, 6 times 5 is 30, plus 4 is 34. And that's the wrong answer. So make sure when you have a parentheses, you have to do the parentheses first. All right, so here I have Melody drew eight flowers. She painted four flowers blue, then she painted two flowers red. How many flowers are not painted? It takes two steps to find the answer to this problem. So the parentheses are going to help us show what step to take first. Since I know she has four flowers and two flowers that she's painted, I'm going to want to add those first. So she drew eight flowers, and then to figure out how many she has not painted, we're going to subtract four plus two. Okay, so we're going to figure out how many flowers she has painted. So that's four plus two equals six. Then I can do eight minus six, and eight minus six equals two. So she has not painted two of the flowers. Okay, this next problem wants me to compare two different numbers. Before I can compare, I need to solve these equations. Okay, so if you notice on both sides, the numbers are exactly the same. The only difference is where the parentheses are. Okay, so remember we do the parentheses first. So on this one, three plus four is seven. And then we do seven uh, two times seven, which equals 14. On the left side, we have two times three first. So two times three is six, and then we add four. And six plus four is 10. So 14 is greater than 10. When performing operations of arithmetic, we perform operations one at a time. Okay? When performing operations in arithmetic, we perform one operation at a time. If we have three numbers to add, we decide which two numbers to add first. Suppose we wish to find four plus five plus six. I could add the four and the five first and then the six, or I could add the six, five and the six first and then the four. Either way, my answer both times equals 15. This is called the associative property of addition. I can add numbers in any order and get the same answer. The associative property also applies to multiplication, but it does not apply to subtraction or division. So here we have the associative property of multiplication. So I'm just grouping and deciding what to multiply first. So here I have two times three equals six times four is 24. Okay, and over here I'm gonna multiply three times four first, which is 12, and then two times 12 is 24. So 24 equals 24. All right, so let's practice with these problems. So we first problem we have six minus four minus two. So remember we do what's in parentheses first. Four minus two is two. So then we do six minus two, which equals four. So this one equals four, okay? The second number we have six minus four in parentheses and then minus two. So, 6 minus 4 is 2, and 2 minus 2 equals 0. All right? Same thing with division. Okay? So, we have 8 divided by 4, in parentheses, and then divided by 2. So, I know 8 divided by 4 is 2, 
and 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Okay. So let's look if we do it the other way. So we have 8 divided by 4 divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2 equals 2, and then 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So you can see it's important to make sure that we do whatever's in the parentheses first. And remember, the associative property does not apply to division and subtraction problems. I have to do these in the order that they are listed. Hey, and that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.